How's it going guys, it's Josh here, welcome back to another video. So today I've got a wireless, mouse and keyboard combo for you to check out. Now there's quite a lot of these types of products floating around, some good, some not so good, so we're going to see what this one has to offer. A company called Jellycomb sent this out to me to check out, let's take a look. So in the box we get the keyboard, the mouse, a charging cable and a manual. Now we'll mention that the keyboard is rechargeable via a micro USB port located on the side and has an internal battery capacity of 280 milliamp hours. It doesn't take that long to charge, about 2 hours and you should get around 90 days of usage out of it. These things do seem to just last forever. Strangely the mouse is not rechargeable, it's instead powered by two AAA batteries which are unfortunately not included, although you may want to use your own set of rechargeables. Again battery life on these types of things is not really an issue so don't expect to have to change them very often. The product is available in both black and white, although we do get a hint of white on the mouse which creates quite a nice contrast. The keyboard is extremely slim, although amazingly it doesn't feel flimsy at all, there's literally no flex in it whatsoever. It's also very short, coming in at only 280mm, and while we are missing the numpad, we do get function keys along the top row, which can be activated by holding the FN button. It's an extremely quiet keyboard to type on and the keys are spaced out almost similar to what you'd see on an Apple keyboard, so it doesn't feel cramped like a lot of other boards. What about the mouse then? Well, the battery compartment also houses the USB nano receiver, so you'll need to plug this into your PC to connect both the mouse and the keyboard. After you've done that, you can flick the switches which can be found on the bottom of the mouse and on the rear of the keyboard. Now while I really like the keyboard, the mouse does feel a bit too small to be comfortable. It's also extremely flat, so when you watch your hand to use it, there's not a lot of support there. There's three DPI settings which can be switched between via the button right here, 1000, 1200 and 1600. I mean, I know it's not a gaming mouse, but if you're used to using higher DPI settings, this is going to feel pretty slow. I do quite like the mouse buttons though, they don't click like normal mice, they've got more of a softer bounce to them, which is quite interesting. Wireless performance is perfectly acceptable, it uses the standard 2.4GHz frequency, has a range of about 10 meters, and I've not experienced any loss of connection while using it. So really then, who is this keyboard and mouse combo designed for? Well, it strikes me as something more for occasional use or maybe for a very minimalist setup. I really like the keyboard, it's comfortable to type on and is extremely slim, so you could easily take it with you in a bag. The mouse I'm not as keen on, but again, for the amount of space this takes up, it's perfectly fine for normal activities like browsing the web or doing your emails, and it's very handy having the one USB receiver for both the keyboard and the mouse. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll drop the links in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.